back today with another video and today you guys we are diving right into the creepy scary stuff as much as I love pranks and funny videos there is nothing that I love more than creepy stories if you want to talk about the paranormal the creepy the haunted I am the person to come talk to I love that stuff I love learning about that stuff and recently I came across a video that really stood out to me this video is titled something horrible happened to my sister now I have not not seen this video you're gonna watch me watch this video for the very first time I have no idea what's gonna happen in this video but I've heard that it's super terrifying and I've also seen a lot of other people reacting to it so I wanted to give it a shot even though I might get scared and run away by the looks of it this looks really really terrifying like genuinely terrifying terrifying okay I think it's time for me to shut up and start watching this video but before we get started make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe okay okay love you so for this episode, we received an email from an 18 year old girl named Leah who thinks there's something horribly wrong with her sister. Leah says that one night, her sister came home late and said she was in an accident. Okay, first of all, right there, red flag, red flag right away. Babe, if you were in an accident, why would you come home? Like if you were in a serious accident or even like semi-serious accident, I feel like you would go to the doctor or you would like call for help. I don't know, I'm just saying I already feel some red flags. Her face was covered in bandages. Ever since then, her sister has not been acting the same. Leah says that her sister goes out into the woods for hours every night, and when Leah asks her sister what she was doing, she just stares at her and smiles. Okay, no, 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 no. There is literally nothing creepier in the world than just like a big evil smile. Here's my theory. This is not her sister. The girl that came home is not her sister. Her face is covered in bandages, so she has no way of knowing if it actually is her sister, right? It could just be some lunatic that wants to mess with her. Bad vibes. Right off the bat, bad vibes. She sent us this video for proof. Oh my god. Oh my god. She literally ran towards her like ran bolted. Also, why is she going out into the woods late at night? Like there's definitely something going on. I mean like there obviously is which is why we're watching the video But you know what I mean? So tonight we're going to head out to their house to see what's going on. Let's go Bro, I have to say this girl's gotta be pretty messed up if her own sister's afraid of her <laughs> That is so true. You know you have a problem if your own sister is terrified of you. You don't know what kind of accident that her sister got in. I think we should be more sensitive until we know more about this. Dude, you saw the video she sent us. There's something wrong with that Bro, girl. let's just go to their house, okay? And try to sit down and talk to both of them. Okay, fine. These guys are funny. The awkward silence is really making this less terrifying. You can tell the guy on the left does not want to go. Your destination is on the right. Oh, wait, it's up here. It's up here. Okay, I see it. Okay, why are they going to her house at like 12, 17 a.m.? First of all, that's like the weirdest time to go to someone's house. And second of all, are you sure you want to be around that girl when it's super late and her sister is terrified of her? I don't know, just saying. It's just surrounded by woods. Let's just go on. Are you going to be calm? Let's, let's see what's going on in there. Okay, I'm just gonna talk. Hi. Hi. Leah, hi, Parker. Uh, can we come in to talk about your sister? Maybe right now is not a good time. My sister is still recovering. I mean, Leo, we just drove like three hours to come see you. If you don't feel safe in your house, then we need to come in and talk. Oh my god, she looks so scared. I just find it funny how these guys are like, come on, we drove three hours. Like, come on. I'm sure you driving three hours is the least of her problems. Her sister is literally after her. Okay, you gotta be really quiet though. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is a really sketchy situation. If I was walking into someone's house and they were like, you gotta be really quiet though, I would be like, why? Like, who are we hiding from? Why do I have to be quiet? Thank you for letting us sit down to talk to you. So, can you tell us what's going on with your sister? Listen, you need to be really quiet. She told me not to have anyone over here. Why doesn't she want you having anyone over? I think she's embarrassed about her face. 
Well, that's kind of sad. Uh, so have you tried talking Listen, to her? I don't feel safe staying with her. What do you mean you don't feel safe with her? She's your sister. Uh, yeah, all right. It's, it's nice to meet you. Oh my god. Oh my god, her face looks so messed up. Her eyes are like open way too wide. This is really starting to stress me out. I just want to hide in a little hole. I hate this. All right, we have to get through this. We have to get through this. Uh, do you want to like sit down and talk with us? Can you tell us more about the accident that she was in? She got in a car crash last week and she sent me this. What? Uh, Leah, did you pick her up from the hospital like that? No, she walked in the front door like that. How does this girl know that this person is her sister? It could literally be anyone. Oh my God. Oh, this is so scary. I'm getting stressed out, guys. Dude, I don't think that's her sister. Dude, what are you talking about? That text did not seem normal, and she's covering her face. How do we even know that's her? Dude, you're acting kind of prejudiced right now. <laughs> you're acting kind of prejudiced right now? These two guys are the comic relief I need in this very stressful video right now. So I'll give them that. That this girl was in an accident, what, like last week? Of course she's going to be acting weird. I'm just worried that the accident affected her mentally. Okay, there's acting weird, and then there's making your sister feel unsafe in her own home and running at people's cameras when they're recording you. Also, what was that weird mouth thing she was doing with the bandage on her face? Dude, why did her face look like that? It was messed Bro, up. listen, I don't want to hear any more of this. I know if I were in an accident like that, I would just want people treating me normally, not like a freak. Okay, let's just sit back down. Uh, Leah, so I think we might want to go and, and try to talk to your sister. Can you show us where her room is or just tell us where it is? It's down a hole over there. Okay, yeah, let's go. We're, we're done. Just knock on Gail's door. You ready? They're about to go talk to this girl one-on-one. -on -one. I highly doubt she's gonna be able to have a conversation with them. I feel like they're gonna get screamed at. Also, why are all the lights in the house off? Like, did they run out of power? Like, I don't get it, babe. Turn the lights on. Hi. Gail, sorry to just open the door like that, but I knocked. Uh, how are you feeling? Do you see what I'm talking about? She's doing this like weird thing with her mouth where she's like chewing or something. <laughs> what if she's just like eating Skittles or something and I'm making like the biggest deal out of it? She turns around and there's like a Skittles bag in her hand. I know it was uh, probably difficult for you to uh, get hurt like that and feel alone after, but you gotta let us help you. Is that her jaw cracking? So we were actually talking to Leah and she was suggesting that she might not want to stay here tonight. Do you think that would be better? Okay, sorry. I uh, wasn't trying to upset you. Okay, let's go. What was that? Oh my god. Bro, just by talking to her there, she clearly went through something awful. What do you mean? Alright, well at this point it's getting pretty late. Uh, it looks like we need to spend the night here. Dude, I'm not spending the night unless we set up cameras. When I tell you I would not spend the night in this house with this crazy person for no amount of money, there is nothing that you could give me, nothing that you could say to convince me to stay the night with this girl in this house. And these guys are going in there filming her, talking to her. They're really brave. Could not be me. a camera in your room. So I'm going to be honest with you, Leah. I didn't really know the extent of the situation before I got here. I really don't even think you need a camera for this, but we're just going to put the camera in here to make you feel safe. We put cameras all around the house as well. I talked to your sister and honestly, I just got to say, I, I just feel like she's going through a lot right now. I don't feel safe right now. Okay, babe, if you don't feel safe, you really need to call, like, experts. I don't know who these guys are, but they do not look like they can handle this situation. Like, what are cameras gonna do, you know what I mean? If that was me, if I was Leah, I am calling in the SWAT team on my sister. Well, sister. Did you see my room tonight? I mean, 
Leah, it's just your sister. Okay, Leah, I see you shooting your shot. What? I see you, girl. I see you. I think you're going to be fine, okay? Just try to rest. Alright, let's go. Please, don't go. Just try to go to sleep, okay? Bro, I don't know what's going on in this house. I think I hear something in Gail's room. Who was that? Who are you talking to? No one. Dude, what are you doing? Why are you bothering her? Dude, there was someone in there with her. Why, why do you keep bothering her? Why can't we just go to sleep? There's someone else in there. Okay, let's just go to sleep, man. Come on. This is ridiculous. Okay, first of all, the way that he just yelled at her, that was iconic. I feel like anyone else in this guy's situation would just hide and be quiet, and he just screamed at the top of his lungs. What a legend. He is very committed to his job. On another note, though, yeah, there's something definitely wrong with Gail. Dude, how are you not freaked out by Gail? Bro, why do you not lay off this girl? Just because her face is different doesn't mean she's different on the inside. Okay, but we don't know that her face is different because we don't even know what her face looks like. You don't even know if she is who she says she is. Ugh, oh, I'm getting stressed out. Dude, you know she's up to something. Why else was she in the woods? Why are you treating this girl like a freak? He's just genuinely concerned about her behavior. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not used to people cracking their jaws and speaking to non-existent people in their room. I feel like this guy is playing the nice guy card a little too much. What's even the point? Like, there's obviously something wrong here. We just try to go to sleep. Whatever, dude. Okay, Miss Gail has some talent. She just caught that fly like it was nothing. Honestly, I stand Gail so far. Gail is kind of an icon. Um, I take that back. Miss Girl just ate the fly. Listen, I get trying to get in some extra protein, but that is not the way to do it, babe. What the hell? What if she took her bandage off and it was just like a frog like the entire time? <laughs> That's so not funny. She's taking off her bandages, so we're gonna be able to see what she looks like, I guess? I'm excited for the face reveal, woo! I probably shouldn't be though, it's probably like a demon or something, right? Wait, did her jaw just come off or am I tripping? What was that piece that was hanging down? I know it was like a bandage, but it looked like something else was too. Ugh, this is getting gross. I love it. <laughs> Oh, she was changing her bandages. Say what you want about Gail, but she's a hygienic queen, okay? She's changing her bandages. She's taking care of herself. She's getting in her late night protein. Respect to Miss Gail. She's more productive than I am, so hats off to her. How does that not wake her sister up? If I heard something like that beside my bed, I am instantly opening my eyes and jumping out of the bed. Leah's sleeping peacefully in her bed like chop chop, there's literally a demon in your room. Dude, wake up. Oh, so what? What? Yes. 
Let's go. What you going for, bro? I don't know. Dude, hurry. Leah, what's the problem? She's here. What's going on? She was watching me. Where? Where is she? Look in the closet. There's nothing in here. Listen, Leah, I think you're just having a nightmare or something. Your sister's not a monster, okay? She's just going through a tough time right now. Alright, dude, let's just go. Imagine all this time Gail was actually going through a hard time because she was actually in an accident and her sister is just a terrible person. Now that would be a plot twist of the century. Are you okay? Do you hear that? She's screaming again. Let's go. Uh, she stopped, bro. Oh my god, did her sister just suck her soul out of her? Okay, this is getting really intense. that in the bushes is that like their friend or something like is this like a whole cult of weird bandage people this is getting really weird so we just woke up it's about 6 a.m uh we had to go check on leah and review the footage from last night so uh let's go yo leah where is she? Dude, check the closet. Why would she be in the closet? Where do you think she went? I don't know. I think I gotta check downstairs. Alright, uh, yeah, check downstairs. I'll check up here. Ah, uh, don't split up. Why are they splitting up? Rule number one in literally any situation ever, don't split up. Stay together, okay? Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's check gals are on. There's no one here either. Here. What? The back door's wide open. You think they left through there? I, I don't know where she went. Imagine they just like went to like McDonald's or something. They were craving a quick Timmy, so they just like went through the back door. No, definitely not. They freaking ran. I bet this camera guy feels super guilty now, okay? Because I did not like his attitude. He was thinking everything was so relaxed and everything was gonna be fine. And now, look, we have a problem on our hands. Okay, let's sit down and check out this night cam footage, dude. Okay, so going through this, I don't really see anything interesting. Wait, wait, go back to the hallway. Dude, where's she taking her? Dude, I don't know. Something's wrong with Leah, bro. Look at her face. Hallway, let me check the camera outside. Bro, where are they going? Dude, I don't know. Looks like they're going in the woods. Why are they going in the woods? I don't know, why are you yelling? These guys are so funny. You have one who like takes everything way too seriously and then one who like doesn't even like notice when things are going bad. One is just screaming at the top of his lungs and the other is like, it'll be fine, she's just insecure. The weirdest mix ever. They're like the opposite of peanut butter and jelly. Or maybe they are peanut butter and jelly because they're opposite. Now I want peanut butter and jelly. Oh dude, I told you, Gail did something to her. Gail did something to Leah. Bro. I Dude, she did not go willingly into the woods in the middle of the night. Let's just go home and try to figure this out, all right, man? This girl is literally missing in the middle of the woods and this guy's like, let's go home and figure it out. This is genuinely like the scariest slash funniest video I've ever seen. How much we can do right now? Unless you want to go in the woods and look for her. All right, let's, let's go home. <laughs> He's like, you want to go look for her? And the guy's just like, let's go home. <laughs> that would be me. Whoever this guy is, that would be me in any given situation. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video. Honestly, super freaky, but also pretty funny. Like the two guys who are hosting this video or like this show or whatever they're doing are actually pretty freaking funny. Nonetheless, though, like the content itself is so creepy. And I was right. Okay, that girl was not her sister. That was someone random. I mean, we don't even know who it was. It literally could have been someone off the street who just walked in and decided to ruin her life. Either way, you guys, that is it for today's video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.